hey guys welcome back to another youtube video so in this video i'm actually gonna cover a new software that i've discovered called quickmail so i'm pretty sure you guys know about quickmail because you were the people who told me about quickmail and you basically asked me to make a video on how to set up quickmail for yourself and how to actually go about quickmail so here we go so as you can see we are on quickmail.io so this is a software that basically helps improve deliverability and automates your follow-ups so one of the best things about uh, quickmail was their quick warm feature so as you can see the auto warmer feature is free at the moment so you get access to the auto warmer feature for free and you've got your auto warmer filled inboxes and you can use gmail outlook and smtp uh, coming on to the starter plan we've got 59 dollars a month to send out 500 emails per inbox per day so that basically equates to about 15,000 emails a month which would be more than enough for most people watching this video in case it's not you've got the pro plan as well for you guys to explore so you've got 1500 emails which equates to about 45,000 emails a month sent so you've got the options to have additional inboxes as well and basically everything that all softwares usually do offer and you've got your 14 day free trial right over here so let's get started and actually set up uh, a free account right over here so as you can see once you click on the free trial link you'll be taken up to the sign up page uh, wherein you'll be able to sign up for a single account or multiple accounts so let me just get my single account set up right over here and let me just come log into everything and come back to you so i just as you can see i just filled out my uh, step one and here we've got the name of our company or project so we just put in monday labs uh, we've got our website so we'll just put in our website right over here i am the ceo or founder my side of the company is 2 to 10 employees uh, we serve about 11 to 50 customers and let's just say youtube because we are on youtube and uh, we're not gonna fill out this field and let's just all right let's not do youtube let's just do google search and let's just do quick mail it's quite annoying that they want you to fill out everything but there you go we've created our account and they want a card information so let me get back to you with that perfect i've done that now and i've taken to this page and it showcases a cold email masterclass that i can buy now for 297 dollars instead of 497 so i'm just gonna skip the offer i think that's a good deal <laughs> and we've taken to our account right over here uh, we need to add an inbox to be able to send email, add prospects to the account, create a campaign and start prospects. So let's get started with actually sending out these emails. So as you can see, we've been taken to their YouTube channel and we won't be taking a look at that. My Here's God. how to add an inbox. Whoops. And yeah, basically let's get to our prospects. Let's get to our campaigns. Uh, we'll be able to create a new campaign. Uh, let's create the campaign as one line labs test we'll create a campaign right over here and there we go we can add our first step we'll send in an email our subject could be quick question and then we'll add attributes we need first name so we'll just do this as copy paste there you go so this will showcase our first name of the prospect and there we have our email body let me just pull up one of our uh, campaigns so here we go we have pulled in my social media management script for cbd uh, i'm pretty sure that you guys are aware of this uh, from one of the series that we actually did on the channel itself so as you can see we've gotten everything over here uh, what we're gonna do is we want to add a attribute right over here so what we'll do is we we'll add our attributes we'll go here first name uh over here we want our company name to obviously be the company name of the person that we're reaching out to so let's just look for the company name uh we've got our title role phone name there you go company name and here as well we want our company name and there we go we've gotten this done uh, let's do create step and this should create our first step right over here oh 
file is not reading email body could not transform company name looks like i think i got one wrong company name yeah here that's what i was thinking so you need to really pay attention to you know the details of what you're doing so let's just do create step once again and there you go we've got our first business step right over here uh, for the wait time, I usually try to do two or three business days. You can just do two, update step, add another step. We'll add another email, and we'll just do our follow-up email. The first name where we have this as the main email. We leave the subject line uh, empty so that uh, it auto fills into and it creates basically a step-by-step -step procedure. So over here again, we'll have to replace the first name. So you just click on attributes and add first name and there we go we've got our thing done and we just create another step and there we go uh, we need to if the box is this will reply to all previous emails so you need to be sure that you tick this box otherwise you'll start to send new email as a new email and not under a thread uh, which is very important when doing gold email you've got your open tracking uh, you've got your click tracking you can do plain text only uh, so if you click this then you will automatically uh, cross the open tracking and click tracking and uh, you can create emails on your own send manually but why use manually when you're actually using a software to send out the first email so there you go you click on review and you can see we've got uh, no inbox has been selected for the campaign yet so we'll just do that and let me come back to you with this all right, I'm back. So just to take you through the inbox, how to add an inbox right over here, we click on settings, we go on inboxes and you can see we've got our inbox right over here. You can just click on add inbox. Uh, now you have two options. You've got, I have access to the inbox and somebody else created the inbox. Now this is one of the features of quick mail that a lot of people highlighted that in case you don't have the credentials and you still want to manage somebody else's inbox, uh, when you click continue over here, you will be able to click generate a link uh, that you can send to the particular person who owns the inbox that they can add to your quick mail account and you don't need to actually be uh, given the login email and uh, password of it. So we've got our email ourselves. Uh, you've got support for Google and G Suite and you've got support for Outlook and Office. So I'll just do this. There we go. We've got an inbox right over here. You can see the tick has come. That means we are uh, ready to send and receive uh, you can see this inbox is owned by who and we can just share this thing we can delete the inbox and we can regrant authorization uh, now if you go back to our campaigns you can see our campaign is right over here which we can open and let's go into our steps right over here so we've gotten our two steps ready under inboxes we'll select shivermed19apps.com which is what we want to send it out with uh, let's create a schedule uh, we want to send emails monday tuesdays wednesday thursdays and fridays uh, starting from let's say 12 30 pm uh, do you have the option yep so 12 30 pm use the current time zone uh, i would say 20 emails a day and we can just create this account we oops okay i have to add prospects first so let's go into prospects click on add prospects so you can add prospects manually or we'll import prospects so we'll import from csv file we we'll load a file and let's just load in a random one so i i just used one that i just used a while back uh, this is obviously not the exact one i'm going to be using but you can see uh, we need to set the prospects info so you've got email first name last name company name and the rest we honestly don't know we don't really need and we can set this campaign up as a bucket as well okay so let's see add a bucket and update it if it exists and let's just say one line apps test and we just import and we can see that the start to import uh, we can go back into our campaigns right over here and we can again open we can see we've got our dashboard right here we've gotten the people uh, that we'll be emailing now these are not the right people i'm just doing this as a test for you guys we've got our to do's and we've got our campaign right over here and we'll just click on review and we've got our inbox right over here we've got our emails you can see 
prospects who have gone through the step etc uh, we'll pick a prospect and we don't want to send out any prospect because uh, you know it's not the right prospect it's not the email I'm just showcasing this to you guys for the sake of this video and yeah that is it we can basically launch after this uh, without any issues so this was a detailed tutorial on how to set up quick mail and how to send out your first campaign with quick mail so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this if you did do hit the like button and subscribe down below if you have any other software you want me to cover let me know and i'll be happy to do that all right talk to you guys soon bye